Hi, I'm Sadell, and I want to show you something really cool that I did last night that I think would make a great last minute holiday gift if you're feeling stuck. And especially if you know somebody who likes a journal, likes to write in a journal, likes to draw in a journal, does, and you don't have time to actually make a full blown journal. So this just happened last night because I had these things around. So let me show you what I did. Um, a few months ago, I had purchased, let's see, this is uh, Low Cornell. It was just a cheap little journal that I bought at like Joann's or something like that. And I think I paid maybe $3 for that. I had gotten them at, at a deal and I had a few left. I had them for workshop. Anyway, a cheap journal. It was kind of boring looking. And I remembered that I went over to my desk thinking I was in a creative mood and I, I needed a new journal and I didn't want to make one for myself, but it was just something for me to write in. And I found this design that I had actually traced. So this is a piece of artwork that I had made a week ago or so. And I had actually traced the original onto this um, so that I could put it into this little journal. And so the original was just sitting there on my desk I took, I had taken it and cut it out. So it was kind of like in this shape. And I said, hmm, I wonder if I could do something with that and put it on my journal. So I went and I cut it out and I took some glue and I pasted it onto this book. And then I thought, oh, it's looking pretty plain in black and white. So I grabbed a couple of markers, a couple of tones of blue you could use pretty much anything. Um, but this was just plain paper, plain uh, eight and a half by 11 inch um, paper, uh, for copier paper. And uh, I used Elmer's glue even to, you know, very gently smooth it on. And I then colored around the knotwork. And I also did a little bit of shading with my pen. So I had a little pen that I was using that I did a little bit of black and white shading with. And then I thought I still needed something and I have a whole bag full of metallic pens because I just love gold. So uh, I grabbed the gold one and added some dots around it. And then I thought it still needs something. It just And then I thought, oh, these little starbursts would be lovely. And so that's what I used the blue metallic for. Uh, I mean, you really, you could use anything if you, you if you've got uh, gel pens, especially like the neon gel pens would be fun on a book like this. But just just more the idea that you're really stuck for a holiday gift or a gift for somebody and you've got to come up with it quickly and you just don't have the time to make one of your own, you can buy a cheap little book. This is just again, I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. This, this is an unlined little book. I think this was one was from Low Cornell, and I think I bought this one at Joann's. Um, and just you can add your own artwork. Um, if you don't have your own artwork to add and you wanted to add artwork that you found on the internet, just you know be a good citizen and don't sell it and say it's yours. Give the you know if you post a picture of it, give the artist credit. But you can do really quickie gifts and and now this is for me and i was just looking to personalize a little journal that i'm going to be writing in for a special project so anyway that's my holiday tip for getting a really quick nice customized little journal and i uh, invite you to follow me i'm uh sadia vt on instagram you can find uh, a link below and um i'll see you soon bye